Hi, my name is Cody D. Arkland and I work for Kong. I focus on Kuma and Kong Service Mesh. And today we're going to be talking about understanding the difference between API gateways and service mesh. This question is probably the most popular question I get in the service mesh space. Should I start with a gateway or should I start with service mesh? Ultimately, these two technologies are two different pages of the same book. When we think about these technologies, we think about the story of end-to-end -end connectivity. A gateway provides you inbound access into an environment. It is the way that users and services are going to access the systems that you control. Ultimately, that gives you a central point to apply policy, to apply configurations. And the big thing about Kong's API gateway, the plugin functionality. We can have all of that plugin functionality take place where the user or service is coming inbound to the environment. Conversely, on the service mesh side, service mesh is about optimizing the way applications talk between one another. It gives us a place to apply policies that control the application communication. It also adds functionality on top of the existing application stack without having you have to add that into your code. This gets you things like automatic MTLS encryption, uh, ways to handle traffic routing and splitting, ways to implement better observability out of the box without modifications to your environment, or even self-healing features like rate limiting and other traffic capabilities. These two different technologies ultimately provide an end-to-end -end experience for how you can access systems into an environment. Let's take a look at a picture to see what this looks like. When we look at the different components of an, of an environment, we oftentimes see applications that span across data centers or environments. In this example, we have a Kubernetes environment, an EC2 environment, and then an on-prem virtual machine-based environment. When we think about the ways that people get into these environments, we can think of things like Kong's Gateway or Kong's Ingress Controller, which is based off of the gateway. These are two entry paths for the environment that users or services are going to consume to hit the systems behind that environment. The service mesh is going to provide a consistent layer of communication between these environments by using the Envoy sidecars. These sidecars become aware of other sidecars in the environment and ways to communicate across that environment. The policies are applied at the control plane and pushed down to those uh, Envoy sidecars, which intercept and transmit traffic to those applications. Those sidecars live beside every application inside of the environment. When you mix these two technologies together, you truly get a great end-to-end -end communication experience that lets you make sure the way users are coming into the environment is handled in the best way possible, but then also that adds functionality on top of your existing application stack. One of the best things about service mesh is that you don't have to modify your application to get these results. These things come out of the box with service mesh, which means you don't have to implement it every single time on your environment. It comes with a control plane. So as things come in, they're able to subscribe to this capability and use it. You add in things like the multi-tenancy that's built into Kuma and, and Kong Mesh, or you look at the ways that we can expand a multi-zone environment really easy, and you have this great user experience for adopting and connecting applications in an environment. And when you deploy the gateway, you have a centralized place to manage connectivity inbound, whether it's from application or service. I hope this quick walkthrough has helped you understand a little bit better about API gateways versus service mesh and why both parts of that are parts of the same story. Have a great day.